Well, we welcome Bill back tonight Thank after you. a few days, and uh, you're here to tell us about some winter weather coming up. Why not? Yeah. You know, that's what they pay me to you do around here. Well, it was 90 time. degrees when you were in Just Florida. In yeah. Then come back to a little flakes <laughs> yeah, of snow flying. <laughs> Albino death pellets strike again. Not many of them tonight, though. Uh, if you see a couple tonight, consider yourself lucky. There might be a little freezing drizzle around, uh, but for the most part, it's, this is coming through pretty quietly. Max Track Live Doppler, there's not a whole lot to show here. Uh, what we've got is a lot of verga going on. What we what, mean by that, it's evaporating on the way down. So watch this as we'll go through the evening here. So you see stuff coming down from the north. You see how then it, as it gets closer, it disappears and then it reappears down to the south. So that tells you that at a, a level roughly at about 1500 feet, the stuff's evaporating. And then when you get to the 1500 foot level again, it reappears. So could somebody see a little patch of freezing drizzle? Sure, it's a possibility. Could it cause a problem somewhere? Maybe it's not a big chance for that though. So tonight, little tiny bit of winter. Now Saturday night into Sunday, this is a different story. A big weather system will be traveling across the deep south. We're going to be on the northern edge of it and maybe close enough that some folks get some pretty impactful winter weather. But that same storm, which is bringing winter for this weekend, actually kind of breaks this pattern a little bit, which we've been in for the most part since the middle of October, where it's wave after wave of these polar air masses. Well, that Pacific storm and it's El Nino generated, by the way, and it's going to go from coast to coast, but it also drag or let's put two words together and make one. <laughs> It brings or drags, take your pick, uh, Pacific air along the way. And so we will see a moderating trend next week after the winter storm possibility. The cold that's in place is from a modified Arctic high. Now that is also providing dry air, and that's also going to lead to a very sharp cutoff from where there's accumulating snow to where there'll be virtually nothing. And that boundary will be somewhere, it looks like, cutting through Kentucky. And then finally, well, yeah, the timing of this. It's going to be Saturday night into Sunday, primarily on Sunday. Best chances are going to be south and east. So the closer you are to Tennessee, the closer you are to Virginia, the better your chances of seeing the snow. So what's going on? You've got that stream of clouds right there. That is actually the subtropical jet stream, which is originating down in the tropical Pacific. See that counterclockwise spin there? The system coming into California. That's a powerful Pacific low. That's what's coming off the El Nino. This will link with this and create a storm that will then run from coast to coast. For us, here at midnight, the cold front beginning to arrive. There's not a lot going for it, except that it is the Arctic air. Now remember, there was a jet stream going down here. So that low coming into California is going to move fairly quickly. Uh, what you also see is the high that's drifting across the lakes is not moving quickly. It is separated from the jet stream. So this is allowed to lollygag around, but it will also prevent that system from trying to come too far to the north. So we get you to Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. We've got rain going through the Tennessee Valley, uh, the high pressure sitting up there in Indiana. We get you then to the latter part of Saturday. Everything's still remaining to our south. As long as that high can stay fairly close, again, that sharp cutoff may be just across southern Kentucky. As we're looking at the future track, and we'll expand it out then through Sunday, you'll notice that stuff starts to bubble north as we get you into Sunday morning, and that likely turns into mostly snow, and that will last then into Sunday evening, and perhaps even Monday morning before sliding off to the east. Now, like I said, we're on the northern and western edge of this. Where this is setting up its bullseye is going to be through the mid-Atlantic, and especially the high mountains of North Carolina back into the Smokies. This could be a big deal snow for them. We're on the northern and western fringe. If this thing moves 50, 75 miles north and west, bring everything along with it. If it goes 75 miles southeast, well, again, you see lesser amounts. And keep in mind, this is Thursday. We're talking Sunday, so still plenty of time to watch. Only place that's freezing right now is northern Kentucky. So if there's anything falling outside your house right now, and there's not going to be much, it's going to be just liquid. So it's going to take a while before we see anything freezing. So very, very, very light wintry mix possible. Slick spot not beyond the realm of possibility, but it's unlikely. We're in the mid 20s and it's just upper 30s tomorrow. We'll see more sunshine in the afternoon. Saturday, mid 30s and dry, mostly snow around on Sunday. Temperatures will be in the mid 30s and then we'll see a warm up going into next week.